Yes, why am I standing in the terrace of my house today? Because today we are going to learn about heights. So welcome to topographical map part 5. So heights, there are two types of heights. One is height above sea level. That is from the sea. Say for example Arabian Sea Bay of Bengal when you calculate the height of a plane or a wall or a building that is called height above sea level. Whereas when you calculate the height of the place from the surrounding area say for example there is a chair and you calculate the height from the floor in which the chair is placed that is called height from the surrounding area it is also called relative height. Let's learn them one by one. First you should know that Heights are always represented in meters in topographical map. Now, under heights above sea level, we have four types of height. One is spot height, second triangulated height, third benchmark and fourth contour height. The fourth topic contour height is a little lengthy and a difficult topic. So, we will see in a separate video. Let us learn the heights above sea level one by one. First, spot height. It is represented by a dot followed by a number and it is the actual height of the place or a point on the ground which is calculated from sea level. So in the exam if they ask you what is this dot 286? The answer is it is a spot height where the height of the point is 286 meter above mean sea level. The word spot height as well as the above mean sea level is very important. Number 2 is triangulated height. It is represented by a triangle with a number near it. Actually, this height is not a measured height. It is calculated using trigonometry. So, it is less accurate. And in the exam, if you are asked, what is this triangle 1, 4, 2, 6? You will answer as, it is a triangulated height. The height of the triangulated station is 1426 meter above sea level. Here again, the word triangulated height and above sea level is very important. Number three, benchmark. It is actually a permanent survey point drawn on a stone or a building. They are very very accurate that they are usually even written in decimals and it is represented by the letters BM followed by a number. So in the exam if they ask you what is BM 225.3? The answer is it is a benchmark that shows the height of the mark is 225.3 meter above sea level. Here also the word benchmark and above sea level is very important. Sometimes you can see a number written near a big black tree. This is a prominent survey tree. This number is actually not the height of the tree like you think. It is the height of the place above the mean sea level where the tree is located. And here the survey tree is located 266 meter above sea level. Next we move on to the second type of height, relative height or depth. It is actually the height or depth of a point from the surrounding area. It is usually measured from top to bottom and it is represented by the letter R followed by a number. Now with board exam point of view, if you see the letter R in black color, then you should write relative height. But if this R is blue in color, then you have to write relative depth. And very very important, do not use the word above sea level when you write relative height or depth. Now look at the first picture. The black color dotted feature is actually a seasonal river. You see this 4 R return on the side of the river. What do you see on the sides of a river? River bank. Yes. So, as 4R is black in color, the first words will be relative height. Then you have to write the feature. What is the feature? Seasonal river bank. And third, you have to write the height of the place. So, the answer is relative height of the Seasonal river bank is 4 meter. Now look at the second picture. The 6R is written near a seasonal stream. The black color line is a seasonal stream. Here again it is written on the side of a seasonal stream. So on either sides of the stream also we have stream bank. So as 6R is black in color, 
first you have to write relative height then the feature seasonal stream bank and third the height is 6 meter so the relative height of the seasonal stream bank is 6 meter now look at the third picture you see these brown color dots cluster of brown dots are sand dunes so it this 15 r is black in color so first write relative height then the feature which is sand dune and then the height of the place 15 meter so the answer is relative height of the sand dune is 15 meter in the first picture you see a circle black circle with black dot this indicates a seasonal tank in the second picture you can see the seasonal tank is having some lines around them that represents an embankment to control the flow of water from this tank during the rainy season now look at the second picture 3r is written near the embankment so this 3r is black in color so first what will we write relative height and what is the name of this feature embankment of the seasonal tank and what is the height 3 meter so the answer is relative height of the embankment of seasonal tank is 3 meter now look at the last picture 20 r is written blue in color and this feature is present near a blue color dot which indicates a perennial lined well so 20 r as it's blue you have to write relative depth relative depth of the perennial lined well is 20 meter now let's do some practice exercises do not take more than 4 minutes to complete these four okay i hope you have completed let's see one by one the first picture it is a dot followed by a number so it is a spot height the height of the point is 313 meter above sea level second picture 5r is written near the seasonal river so relative height of the seasonal river bank is 5 meter do not write above sea level if you write it is wrong then third picture 12 r is blue in color and it is present near a perennial lined well so relative depth of the perennial lined well is 12 meter here also do not write above sea level and look at the last picture 3 r is written near the embankment of a seasonal tank so relative height of the embankment of seasonal tank is 3 meter So I hope you understood today's concept very clearly. So keep practicing more and more exercises to get full marks in your topographical map. See you in my next video. Until then, bye bye.